The Australian macadamia industry is located on the New South Wales north coast and southern and central Queensland. These districts can experience high rainfall intensity at certain times of the year, and on bare soil, this can result in the movement of soil and severe soil erosion if it's not managed well. Recent research funded by the macadamia industry has revealed that some of the most significant soil losses can occur from around the base of the tree as a result of water flowing down tree stems. This process is called stem flow. For every hectare, which is 10,000 square metres, every event of 100 millimetres is a meg of water. In other words, a million litres that has to come down. The, the bare soil or grass area can absorb a lot of it, but on the stem it's concentrated and it saturates around the, st uh, the soil around the stem and then just has to run off. Mm -hmm. Stem flow can lead to severe root exposure over time, and this can also lead to nuts being trapped in roots and unable to be harvested. Soil scientist Justine Cox at the Centre for Tropical Horticulture was keen to discover where the sources of soil erosion were. In particular, she wanted to measure the effects of stem flow. Here at the Centre for Tropical Horticulture, we built this device to capture all the water pouring down the macadamia trees gets funneled into this tube and to the data logger which then tips and all the data is measured automatically. Over a 32 hour storm event in May 2009 we measured an average of 1,100 litres of water flowing down each trunk. We calculated that up to 28% of the water falling onto an orchard was funneled down the tree trunks. On average 5 to 10 percent of rainfall was converted to stem flow. This high level of stem flow is thought to be due to the architecture of the macadamia tree and its smooth bark. We wanted to find out how much soil was lost at the base of each macadamia tree and so with this purpose-built frame we measured the distance of the uh, frame to the soil surface with a laser meter and we measured the soil uh, topography. After 18 months, soil was lost from the whole measured surface area around the tree. Roots were exposed and soil was lost around these roots, exposing them more. We found that soil movement uh, from around each tree was 13 millimetres a year. So that meant that around the vulnerable base of the tree is over a centimetre of soil was getting lost. On average spacing of uh, 8 by 4 metres, that means the soil loss translated to 3.8 tonnes of soil moved around the base of the tree per hectare per year, and that's a substantial soil movement. The issue with soil movement due to stem flow is that the moved topsoil is very likely to be transported further down the slope in the next intense rainfall event, and therefore add to the rate of soil loss from an orchard. Okay. What are the keys to reducing soil movement from around the base of the tree? There are three main elements. The first is to reduce stem flow. The second is to protect the soil at the base of the tree. And the third is to maintain a ground cover on as much of the orchard floor as possible. So firstly, how to reduce stem flow. While not yet fully researched, grower experience suggests that limb removal or hedging could help reduce stem flow Stem flow is related to the canopy size and the tree architecture. So a reduced canopy size could reduce stem flow. And it's related to varietal. There's a difference between the different varieties. Some have a lot more runoff, uh, especially the 344s, the more upright, whereas the A16s that are more rounded canopy tend not to have the same. Mm volume uh, running down the stem. So that has now been, become a farming practice of ours is that we'll chip in June, July, we'll put our compost out mm -hmm. and then we'll profile. Mm. Now the second key, protecting the soil at the base of the tree. Mulch is an effective way to protect the soil and coarse wood chip from prunings can eliminate the movement of soil from under a tree row. 
Grass clippings from the inter-row are also useful. When we do the uh, large limb removal, um, we feed the branches through a wood chipper and they get thrown straight back under the tree, under the ground. And uh, even after, if you have a look into the wood chip after only a month, this stuff's been down about two months, but uh, after only a month you start to see the fungal hyphae through the wood chip, it really uh, binds it down, becomes quite a stable product under the tree and um, really helps to build the soil back up. And the final key, planting ground covers such as smother grass is probably the most effective measure to prevent soil erosion in a macadamia orchard. Previous research found that erosion can be reduced by 99% where a good ground cover exists. Okay, so this, this is our original erosion control fence to try and slow the water flow down through the gully. Oh, well, we've been through another step of um, uh, creating erosion control sausages out of uh, a hessian sack uh, filled with mulch and dirt, whatever we can get our hands on. Uh, but now we've gone to planting actual smother grass strips, cut our own strips of turf and um, planted them through the gullies. There's one here that's been planted for probably about a week and a half, just starting to root down, I think. And, and uh, yeah, another important part of it's getting the sunlight in, probably the most important part. Yeah.